traveled alone before, but to spend 90 days in Europe without my friends and family seemed crazy. After contemplating this idea, I came to the conclusion that there were so many more reasons why I should take the risk and go than to stay at home and live the normal college life. I wanted to be different, I wanted to be adventurous, and most of all, I wanted to get a global perspective on the world around me. I decided to break out of my comfort zone and start the next chapter of my life, and right now, I know I made the right decision because I couldn't be happier. My name is Anna Galato, and this is the story of my first semester of college. On September 15th, I said bye to my family and friends and I traveled 7,386 kilometers away from my home in Quincy, Massachusetts to what I came to know as my new home in Thessaloniki, Greece. Just by driving from the airport to the hotel, I knew living in Greece was going to take some adjusting. There was graffiti everywhere, the cars weren't stopping for the pedestrians to have the right of way, and the words on the store signs looked like gibberish. But with an open mind, I walked into the Metropolitan Hotel and started my journey. Just in the first week, I went from my crazy busy schedule at home to the laid-back, friendly atmosphere in Thessaloniki. I enjoyed how you could go to a restaurant and sit there all night and nobody would make you leave. Or how instead of being annoyed that we didn't speak Greek, the locals would be intrigued and want to know more about us. After a short amount of time, I came to know the quiet breeze and constant sound of the waves crashing against the concrete all too well. From morning runs to going on a boat ride or watching the sunset, I became a regular on the boardwalk. The vibrant energy of Aristotle Square was such a great environment to enjoy lunch at a cute little cafe, shop at all of the amazing stores, or go to the local market, but what made my experience here even better was living with my roommate Andy. She has become one of the closest friends I've made here, and I am lucky to have been placed with someone I get along with so well. I almost forgot what I was in Greece for because I was having the time of my life. But pretty soon, we started school at the American College of Thessaloniki, or as the locals call it, Anatolia. The campus was beautiful and lively. My classes were interesting and my teachers were engaging. The class I got the most excited to go to every day was Greek. I liked the fact that after we learned something in class, we could go and practice with the people of Thessaloniki. My favorite Greek class was when we learned to make frappes and watched my big fat Greek wedding. During my time in Greece, I have had the privilege of volunteering at Horatio Nursing Home for my service learning. Every Friday morning, I would serve and clean breakfast. The people at the nursing home put me in a good mood by saying good morning and asking how I was. Something I'm going to miss is Katerina, a woman who likes to color, drawing me a picture. Whenever this happened, I would go to my Greek teacher and have him translate the notes on the back of the paper. The notes would thank me and say that her picture is a gift made with love. Just this made me realize that I was making a difference. Through this experience, I learned that it didn't matter what little task I was doing, what mattered was that I was helping somebody in need. Throughout my time in Greece, I felt like there was something to do every weekend. When I wasn't studying, I was going to Virginia, Halkidiki, Athens, and Delphi. I was climbing Mount Olympus, going on a three-day sailing trip, or exploring the city. The sailing trip was so relaxing and peaceful. We sailed around the Mediterranean, swam in the sea, watched Mamma Mia the musical, and even saw dolphins and sea turtles. Climbing Mount Olympus was the total opposite experience, but it left me with a great sense of pride. There were so many times when I wanted to turn back because it was too scary. In the end, I made it to the top, and the view was totally worth it. Overall, the NUN program has provided me with so many great opportunities. I am grateful to have been able to explore a different part of the world and to have met so many new people. I am coming out of this experience as a more adventurous person who is aware of her global surroundings. I am sad to leave Thessaloniki, but excited to go back to the Boston campus and see what other great opportunities Northeastern has to offer. Yeah, my decision to study in Greece for three months may have been crazy, but I've loved every minute of it.